Buying a car is a very straightforward process. You go to a dealership, compare prices and try to find an available color and interior trim combo that works for you. Besides worrying about a credit score or availability, car buyers don't have much else to consider, but this wouldn't work if you are considering buying a Tesla model. Elon Musk wanted to revolutionize the car making industry and reshape the way we look at car buying process. He took a unique approach to establish his brand in the market. Instead of trying to build a relatively affordable car that he could mass produce and market, he took the opposite approach, focusing instead on creating a compelling car that would create a demand for his vehicles. For better or worse, buying a Tesla is a very different process from buying any other cars in the market, from how you select the car to all the kind of additional costs involved. Here are 9 ways that buying a Tesla is very different from buying another vehicle. But before we start, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button to receive our latest notifications. The Direct Sales Unlike other car manufacturers who sell through franchise dealerships, Tesla sells directly to its consumers. It has created an international network of company-owned showrooms and galleries mostly in urban centers. By owning the sales channel, Tesla believes it can gain an advantage in the speed of its product development. More importantly, it creates a better customer buying experience. Unlike car dealerships, Tesla showrooms have no potential conflicts or interests. Customers deal only with Tesla employed sales and service staff, including the showrooms Service Plus Centers, which are a combination of retail and service center and service facilities. Tesla has more than 600 locations around the world. Tesla has also made use of internet sales. Consumers now can customize and purchase a Tesla online. The most striking and obvious difference when buying a Tesla is that all models are ordered online and custom built. It's perhaps the most attractive part of the Tesla buying experience. While Tesla isn't the only company to offer online purchasing, Mercedes has offered at least a limited version of online purchase since 2013. Tesla now is the only company that exclusively sells online. This wasn't always the case, but Tesla announced the move earlier this year in order to keep the company financially stable. Other companies have similar purchasing options, but these still require the use of local distributors and dealerships, which means that ultimately the purchase is still a dealership purchase and subject to availability. The stores aren't just for buying Tesla cars. Unlike other companies, Tesla runs showrooms that aren't just for show. In addition to providing test drives and customer service, there are also repair shops and charging stations for Tesla owners. Most dealerships have a repair shop, but it is closed off from the rest of the store. Elon Musk compares the Tesla dealership to a mixture of Apple, Starbucks and a good restaurant, because the Tesla model workshop will be out front and on display. While most dealerships will include a repair shop, none of them also double as a gas station which means that after buying a Tesla, you can return to the showroom and recharge your car. Tesla doesn't sell just cars. Tesla sells powertrain systems and components to other auto manufacturers. In April 2015, Tesla introduced a line of home batteries called the Powerwall that serves as energy storage system in homes or businesses. They are meant to connect with a solar energy system and can be used as a backup power when power is interrupted or peak demand is high. Tesla also sells solar panels and full solar roofing, which is a roof made up of solar panels that still looks like a roof. Like its arrival automakers, Tesla offers financial services including vehicle loans and leases. For some of the loan programs, it has a resale value guarantee provision. This provided some downside protection on a vehicle's value should the customer want to resell it. Tesla buyers don't have to settle for what's available. Car buyers are familiar with the famous phrase subject to availability, which means that after spending half an hour or more scanning the selection, you find out that the option you want is only available with a three month back order. Settling on a model and make of a car is difficult enough without finding out that the right combination of color and trim is out of stock. Tesla cuts out the problem by operating on an on order basis. The Tesla you ask for is the Tesla you get customer built through the use of their much discussed design studio. While the wait time can be up to 3 weeks for some cars, the buyer gets the exact car that they want. After all, they designed it. Tesla buyers have to consider how far they live from a charging station. 
Most car buyers take for granted how they will refuel their cars. After all, in most towns, there are plenty of gas stations within a short drive from home. When buying a Tesla though, the buyer has to consider how far they are from one of Tesla's supercharger stations. Tesla now touts that 99% of the US population lives within 150 miles of a supercharger station, which sounds great, but that still puts some superchargers a full two hours away from a Tesla owner if they drive at 75 meters per hour. That distance is also around half the range of the new Model S, which tops out at 370 miles. In fact, an Irish customer tweeted about his concern that he might not be close enough to a supercharger station to make a Tesla purchase viable. Musk has said the company is working to expand the availability of charging stations, home services. In some areas, Tesla employs what it calls Tesla Rangers, a mobile technicians who make house calls. In some cases, the service is delivered remotely. The Model S can wirelessly upload data, so technicians can view and fix some problems without ever physically touching the car. The Supercharger Network Tesla has created its own network of supercharger stations, where drivers can charge their Tesla vehicles in about 30 minutes for free. The purpose, of course, is to speed up the rate of adoption of electric cars by making it cheaper and easier to keep them running. Tesla buyers can recharge their cars at home. If your home is at the edge of a 150 mile range of a supercharger station, then Tesla has an alternative, charge your car at home. Tesla offers three levels of charging stations that owners can install at home. The lowest level costs nothing to install, but offers a very limited range according to plugless power. Trickle charging, as it's known, only offers a two mile range for every hour of charging. The mid and high level chargers offer much more, but could cost more than $2,000 to install, including $500 just to buy the charger. Then there's the monthly electric bill. The cost will vary depending on the owner's location, driving and charging habits. While the cost might not be more than $50 or $60 per month, it's still more math than the average driver has to consider when buying a gas-powered car. Elon Musk might respond directly to some customer concerns as a car owner. With all the differences between buying a Tesla versus a standard gas-powered car, buying a Tesla can be a major undertaking. Tesla has a CEO who might actually respond directly to some customer concerns on social media. The Irish man who tweeted about his concern over supercharger locations, for example, received a response from Musk promising 100% coverage throughout Europe in 2019. Another time, he took a customer's complaint regarding the use of superchargers as parking lots and introduced a fleet-wide idle fee within six days. For better or worse, Musk is very active on social media. What this means is that people can find their concerns regarding Tesla addressed by Musk himself. We have covered pretty much every way Tesla's buying process is different. Now, do you think Tesla is worth buying in 2021? Leave us your response in the comments below. Stay safe and see you in the next video.